What's up everybody? Rindy from Ash Rindy. Gonna be showing you inside the $15,000 house. It's one of my listings here in uh, North Jersey and uh, show you that it's possible to actually get a house for less than $20,000. All right, so this property here is one of my listings. Um, it's 9 Central Way in uh, East Orange. And actually, this property is in North Jersey. I know a lot of times North Jersey has a stigma for um, being very expensive, which it is, generally. Uh, but there are properties that exist like this that you can get. And there are ways to be able to get that. And that's what I want to actually uh, talk to you about. I'm actually, sh I'm doing this video to be able to share because I realized over the last few months that with everything going on uh, with the pandemic and all the things that are happening, that I want to share more with the group, uh, in our members group, as to different ways that you can employ money, you know, different ways that you can actually take minimal investment and turn it around for you. And so this property here, my client got it for $15,000 a few months ago, and he's more than quadrupled his investment since then. Uh, actually, as you can see, the property needs a lot of work. So in, in the condition that it is right now, which is pretty much is gutted. Uh, she rock is being put in. Uh, the only thing that's in here that's really of real true value is this sub zero that you can see sub zero refrigerator uh, that he has here. But everything else, the framing has been done. Um, you know, they're putting she rock in the lighting has been done. They've done all that. There's been even some plumbing done. But you know what it is is that it's great because think about it. He's done these things. Uh, he has a, the deed to the property. He has no mortgage on it and he's just really sitting and waiting. And um, so right now in the as is condition, we could probably go in a neighborhood of around $70,000 as is. Um, we do uh, want to try to see if we can get more. So because right now it is a seller's market and there are a lot of buyers with uh, cheap money, even at the 203K loan that he can get for this, um, they'll be getting it at a steal. So this is a deal that I have that I, I really wanted to just highlight to share that because a lot of times, you know, we in the business, we're able to look at get and source properties that are unbelievably priced. Like for example, right now, I'm negotiating two pieces of properties, less than $3,000 that I'm getting. And I know it's hard to believe, but those things exist. And that comes with being in the game and being around these properties and having access to homeowners uh, who actually, um, some, some people are, are moving, relocating out of state. Some people have uh, tax situations that, that, that are going on. And so in this particular case, he was able to get this and it's good. And I want to do this video to kind of encourage you to let you know that there are opportunities in real estate. We want to be able to share more of how to go about finding them. Uh, one of the ways obviously is, you know, being, having access to a, a quality real estate agent, someone like myself who has access to these type of properties. In addition to that, you can actually source them on your own. And that's some of the things I want to share with some of the members because you're able to use real estate to be able to solve your real estate issues. You know, many times when we're in a fix, we need to reinstate our mortgages. We're two or three months behind. There are a lot of people who are trying to figure out how to find their forbearance money right now. And so one of the great ways to find your forbearance money is by real estate itself. Use, u utilizing and leveraging the real estate. So it's something to keep in mind. Um, I do want to say that uh, aside from tax liens, you can actually get properties through different means, probate, um, you know, uh, obviously, you know, foreclosure, pre-foreclosure situations. But there are a lot of unique things that are in real estate that will position you to be able to get access to these inexpensive properties. So um, one of the things I will say is that you want to have a way to kind of like be open to learn be open to have um, access to help and be open to receive instructions. Because when you go into something like this, you may just basically get it to hold, which is fine. You wanna get it and see if you can flip it or hold on to it and see what, what offer comes your way. You can definitely do that. If you're gonna fix the property up, then you need to make sure that you know what you're doing. So I highly recommend that when you're looking at this, you wanna make sure that number one, you're getting clear title. So always make sure that you don't go and buy something that will cause you to be in a compromised situation when it comes to your money. Because although you might be getting the property for five, ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars in the case of this particular property, that is money that you highly work for, and you need to make sure that you don't blow it. So you can work with a situation where sometimes people will tell you, "Oh yeah, well you know, um, everything is all good with the property. Everything is all situated and straight." And 
what ends up happening is that you don't use an attorney or you don't do proper title work and you end up in a situation where you have a property that has a lien against it that you can't shake the lien. And so you end up with an encumbrance that causes you to be in a stall. I've seen people get screwed like that and you want to make sure that you're not in that position. So before you take on someone else's headache, make sure that you do proper title work. Uh, in the case here, um, you know, there are municipal um, regulations and inspections that have to be done here. So a lot of this work. And so right now what he's doing is he's basically just going to sell it as is. He doesn't want to continue. So the new buyer will take on all these responsibilities. And I do have buyers in this area that actually um, purchase. So most likely, you know, this is like a steal for them. It's easy because they already have access to, you know, the municipal, um, you know, codes, they know exactly what needs to be done. They know how the town works. And that's important. You know, when you're going to pick up something, if you're going to hold on to it, you want to make sure that at least you know what your out is. So in case, you know, something happens and you need to know, OK, well, I can't do what I thought I was going to do with this property. I'm going to have to do something different that you're in position to be able to do that. So just a little school for thought. Um, I will say that I'll be sharing more properties like this uh, as we get them in, in our inventory. Uh, as we all know, this is a really hot market right now for sellers. Uh, and, you know, it's unique because the buyers also, I would say, are in a position of driving simply because um, although they're in a situation where they are bidding for properties, it's still a good advantage for the buyers because of the rates being so cheap. So in that sense, it's a good thing all around. Uh, it can be frustrating when you're trying to buy a property and you're constantly losing out on bids. Um, so you wanna make sure that when you are looking to buy something that you go in strong. Many times we, use, we lose the battle because we're not buying it properly or we're not making the right offers off the bat. And depending on the climate of the town that you're buying in, depending on all those factors, you can't play games with some of these properties because the property will be gone, especially in these type of markets. They're going to go. So you want to make sure that you're going in strong and um, you're well positioned and you know that you're working with someone who knows what not only your best interest is, but they know what they're doing. Because this is a time for season agents, you know, to basically uh, do very well and help their clients get the best value and, and position themselves. Because, I mean, look, this is a long term play here and not only that though this can be very strategic for you you getting a property at a cheap price uh, with the terms that you're getting on some of these mortgage mortgage uh, loans and the interest rates that you're getting can position you very very well ahead for years to come you know whether you're going to hold on to the property for 15 years 30 years whatever it is so fifteen thousand dollar houses in north jersey do exist and like i said this is one of them we have others i'm going to be sharing some of the other ones that we have with you that are less than twenty thousand sometimes you know i hold on to some of these um myself and uh, my family we looked at to position ourselves you know and i want to be able to share more on not only land trusts but also um, buying properties that are uh, things that you can keep in the prop in the in the family for generations that you can pass on to your children that you can uh, put in a trust and how to do it how to structure it so i want to share that with some of our members so if you're interested definitely make sure that you join the top network uh, business network and foreclosure network in the country ask ready network uh, you can actually click the link below i look forward to sharing more with you guys and if you have any questions let me know this property right here is in a strategic location because of rally it's right on the border of bloomfield in the ampere section so it's a good location so that's important it's an interior brick row house so as you can see i mean through these walls here behind the sheetrock or is brick which is a good thing so there are a number of factors that you know make it something that is viable i would say that right now if we were to go ahead and sell it right now as is we'll be in the neighborhood of 67 to 70 thousand although we're looking to try to fetch more the arv after repair you're north of 100 thousand that's a really good return when you're talking about buying something free and clear for fifteen thousand dollars so uh, if you're interested in these type of properties you want to learn more like i said click the link below and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video until next time thank you so much for watching